What's up guys? Well, it is the Blue Friday after the final preseason game. We beat the uh, Raiders yesterday, 31-21. But you know, that didn't matter. It's not the score that counts. What counts is what the uh, rookies on the field were able to do. I think it goes without saying, the standout guy from this uh, preseason was Tyler Lockett. I like if I can't stop saying enough that I think he was, uh, I was impressed the moment he got uh, drafted, seeing his highlights, listening to his interviews, and then preseason just cemented that uh, I think he's going to be the impact player of this season. Uh, the guy scored three touchdowns in uh, the four preseason games. Uh, the guy's a pretty darn good receiver, route runner, uh, so he's, he's been great. Uh, the other guy is uh, Frank Clark, man. That guy is all over the place, making plays, making tackles, sacks, caused the, uh, the sack fumble for the touchdown last night, and the guy is just everywhere. So <clears throat> he's been uh, something else. So those two are uh, standouts so far. But now the real question is going to be what happens with the rest of them when they got to cut this roster down to the 53 man. They got 75 guys, they got to cut down to 53. It's 22 guys, they got to, you know, either lose their you know, jobs, get moved somewhere else, or maybe get uh, assigned to the practice squad. Running back, still have not been impressed with Kristen Michael. He did better last night, did not fumble the ball or anything, but I'm still not uh, feeling like he's the next replacement back to Lynch. I like Thomas Rawls. I like the way that guy runs. That would be my pick for, uh, you know, for running back depth. And then uh, the receiver, I think that's the most interesting and hardest decision to make because We've got a log jam at receiver, and some some great receivers that have to be hit, let let go. But we've got, of course, you know, Jermaine Curse, Doug Baldwin, Ricardo Lockett. Those guys are pretty much, you know, in. And then you've got the other Lockett, the new Lockett. I was just Tyler Lockett. And then you've got Kevin Smith, you've got Casey Williams, Chris Matthews. So those guys right there. I mean, that's uh, that's a bunch of guys, and they can't keep all of them. And yet, it's hard to really decide which of those guys should stay or go because um, clearly Tyler Lockett's in because of his special teams primarily but also as a receiver but then you get Casey Williams I mean he had a heck of a game yesterday he made, made a nice catch made a couple of nice catches yesterday that one for the touchdown on the left uh, sideline there and then uh, but Kevin Smith has been pretty explosive on special teams returning the ball also made some nice catches and uh, Chris Matthews he hasn't been Quite as um, impressive in this uh, preseason, but we all can't forget what he did in the Super Bowl and the FC Championship, you know, with that uh, onside kick recovery. So that's gonna be a tough one. I mean, no matter what, let one of those guys go. It's gonna be a pretty uh, uh, tough to, to see one of those talented receivers not make the team. So I don't know if it were me. I guess uh, I'd have to probably say Kaysen Williams and, and Kevin Smith. Maybe is the one who has to. Go, one of those guys makes the practice squad, and then the other one has to uh, hit the road. Oh, B.J. Daniels, there's another guy. You know, he's a receiver too, receiver slash quarterback, slash special teams. I think that guy's gonna make the squad just because he's, he's a, such a versatile guy, special teams player. But the guy can, he did not a bad job at quarterback too. He looks, he's, he looks just, if he changed that five to a three and have him run around out there and throwing the ball, he, he looks a lot like Russell, <laughs> moves a lot like Russell. So, um, yeah, it's going to be uh, another guy you have to factor in because, you know, he was, you know, listed as a receiver for most of the the preseason up until last night. So I think they keep him, too. The other guys who I really liked watching, too, is uh, Cassius Marsh, Pierre Lewis, Brock Coyle. I mean, all those guys, I thought they were really hustling out there. It's just nice, nice to know we got some depth at defensive end and at linebacker. So, I mean, those guys were doing it uh, last year, but, you know, got injured. So it's going to be great having those guys kind of at the ready. Always in on uh, practically every play. Yeah, just like a motor that doesn't doesn't quit. Yeah, then the secondary, that's a, a, another big question. I just feel like, you know, we haven't seen our secondary, starting secondary the whole time with uh, Thomas still recovering, Sherman kind of taking it easy, Chancellor holding out. And uh, really, I guess Kerry Williams is our, our starting corner. I haven't been overwhelmed or underwhelmed. He's, I saw him, you know, he got beat. There's some tackles he missed, but he's also done a decent job on some pass coverage. So it's been all right. But then they all kind of mesh kind of together for me. You know, when I, when I look at the Legion of Boom, which shows a, has a very high, high bar to, add, to measure up to. The other guys, Theral Simon, uh, Burley, it kind of all runs together. So to me, they can all contribute, but I'm still um, really missing uh, Cam Chancellor and 
the, the core guys. So hopefully Cam Chancellor, I don't know, what do you guys think? Is he gonna be back? You know, the agent says he's ready to dig in and hold out the whole season. But when it comes time for those game checks, can't see him giving up that money. But I sure hope he, uh, he shows up on next weekend in uh, St. Louis. That would be such an awesome sight to see. Uh, for now, uh, I guess we wait to see what their cuts are. Got my girls coming out here. There's my girl. Today's Good Friday. Are you dressed for the occasion? Uh, yeah. Oh, don't sound so excited. Yeah. Yes, I look. You're on Norcam. Ah! <laughs> Where's your Seahawk stuff? He doesn't like to. Nah, you have to because you're the daughter. Oh, no. You're the daughter of <laughs> Norcam. You have to represent. And look, you got blue what? and green. You didn't get the tail. money again. Here, look, hold the Seahawks. Yeah. Windshield shade. Go. Go, Vanessa Cakes. Oh, you put your chin on there. Tinkerbell's gone. Go. Tinkerbell's gone. Tinkerbell's <laughs> gone. I know, I have to get him back. I think she's Grr. in the RV still. What RV? One that we took to the movie in Wenatchee. Why? Why'd you bring it? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I forgot to get my lunch. What? You left your lunch bag at school? Mm -hmm. Got to get on Monday. <sighs> oh well. Okay, move I'm back, move back, move. Nessa, buckle up. He's getting popcorn. No, you're not eating popcorn. You eat chicken when you get home. That's what's it? Crumb? Now you just made a mess. Jeepers creep. So guess what? Yeah. Seahawks just played their last preseason game. Yay. You know what that means? That means the regular season starts next week. Oh no. And guess what that means? Oh, no. That means that means I'm going to St. Louis to watch the first game. Oh great! Isn't yeah, that exciting? Don't have to watch it at home. <laughs> Tell me. Hey, what happened in school today? Um, something boring. That's all. Boring. No. So yes, we will be camping tomorrow. We're gonna do the Norb Camp video. Norb Camp. Well, that was what you were talking about, Norb Camp. At first, I'm like, wait, what's Norb Camp? The first annual Norb Camp. Okay, say bye to those as well. Say bye. 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 Bye-bye. Oh, Go home. <laughs>